Um, next up, it will be my pleasure to uh, introduce uh, Pim Valdre. Um, Pim is a, a policy expert um, with political affairs uh, experience from the United Nations, from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Sweden, International Peace Institute in New York. Uh, Pim was an executive, in the Executive Office of the United Nations Secretary General and in, in the Office of the President of the United Nations General Assembly, amongst other advisory roles. Uh, Pim is an MA and BA from Uppsala University and Institute d'Etudes de Sciences Politiques. Her main role in the World Economic Forum is lead on regional and geopolitical affairs. Uh, welcome, Pim. Can you provide some uh, context from World Economic Forum on your current European situation with respect to COVID-19 pandemic? Well, hi, everyone from Geneva. Um, well, from the World Economic Forum, we're looking really, really at how we can use this crisis as an opportunity to develop a new economic growth model for Europe and also how we can mobilize business and industry and in really generating this shift towards a more Paris aligned and sustainable future. I think we've all seen over the past uh, months and weeks um, the size of unprecedented fiscal stimulus, stimulus coming from both European institutions and governments. Uh, I mean, looking at Spain and Italy, for instance, so far spending more than 7 and 5% of the GDP, and Germany and Sweden topping with 10 and about 12%. And I think it's important to, to realize that uh, this fiscal stimulus is going to shape our economies and societies for generations to come. So to, froze, to quote uh, Franz Timmermans that we had on a call here uh, a few days ago, we, we really only get one shot at spending this money right. And we really must use this stimulus uh, wisely uh, and really not inject it into old and obsolete 20th century fossil dependent models, but towards generating a system shift and a new economic model based on low emission industries, green infrastructure and circular economy. So we're very much looking at how we can help uh, accelerate such a shift. Um, and we really also think that the fact that the Commission has used the European Green Deal as a growth strategy uh, in this narrative for the region uh, has also helped uh, in mobilizing uh, the global community towards this green recovery. And we watched with interest yesterday uh, the launch uh, of the new EU recovery fund on 750 billion. We think that this is truly unprecedented, uh, not only because of the size of the fund, but, but because it also uh, um, aims to make financing instruments and investment consistent with the green transition and our net zero emissions 2050 target. So that leads me to my second point, which is that I really feel that we are uh, facing a test of European solidarity. Uh, obviously, we will only know to what extent these measures and policies that have been laid out uh, in this new EU recovery package, um, if it will have impact um, based on the coming intergovernmental process. Uh, we've seen the deep splits uh, within the bloc uh, with the frugal four um, objecting to the financing model of this package. So obviously, what is really needed right now is for business and industry to essentially support and uh, encourage governments to take their responsibility and to deliver on this very ambitious plan. Uh, and my third point is that I think uh, we also need to leverage the role of capital markets and of the finance system uh, in this recovery. Um, and here what we need are clearer tools and guidance uh, in order to unlock the role of capital markets. We've seen some progress on this lately with the new non-financial reporting disclosure uh, regulation from the EU. Uh, this directive will help uh, companies and businesses to disclose the impact of their business activities and how it relates to climate change mitigation uh, and other sustainability dimensions. Um, and we've also seen the, the EU's new sustainability taxonomy. And, and this is important because it gives business and industry a sort of a common uh, framework and vocabulary uh, to start realigning their business models uh, towards the Paris Agreement and towards the European Green Deal. So, uh, I mean, I think we've often said that Europe is the regulatory superpower, and I think there's a lot we can do here also to leverage this uh, at the global level and to show that Europe is really ready to step up its global leadership role and pave the way uh, for other large economies on how uh, a green and sustainable recovery should look like. So, I'm uh, very happy to be here and uh, look forward to um, participating in the Q&A. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, uh, Pim.